Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be swatching the Lena Twirls and Swirls 01 plate requested by Joanne Pie 24 This is a gorgeous plate and I'll be stamping with my monocle stamper and my beauty scraper. I'll be using the Queen black and white to just go on some little uh, nail tips that I've used for swatching in the past. I will show at the end, I will show a live, or not a live, but a you know, video of the swatches and I will also have a picture at the end so you can get a really good look at them. This plate has an insane amount of images on it. Joanne had asked me to swatch it quite a while back and um, I knew it was going to be quite the job so I put it off but I finally found the time to do it. I do enjoy swatching plates but I'm telling you, all these little images at the bottom of this one, hoo-wee, it's a bunch of swatching. <laughs> but I do love seeing the images. I love this plate so much. I've used it in so many manicures already. I love the swirly twirly designs. This one's got my name written all over it. I am using a little piece of tape to remove some of that excess there. Now, as far as these swatched nails that I'm popping them on, I don't know what any of these polishes are. Once I swatch polishes and I'm done, I just kind of pop them off of the wheel and throw them into a little cup. And when I go to swatch plates like this, I just grab some and just use them. So there's no telling what we've got going on here today. There's a few images on this plate that are kind of like layering images. And I don't know that I nailed them perfectly, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess you can, it's all interpretation. You can do it any way you want. You can layer things that weren't meant to be layered. I've done that before. Works out pretty well. I am pretty much leaving this plate dirty as I go along. Mostly it helps me keep up with the images I've used and the images I haven't used. But occasionally I have to go in and clean up because some of the polish has gotten on an image that I haven't swatched yet. And I am using pure acetone for that cleanup. And let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. Um, I, I know a lot of people may be interested, but there might be those of you that aren't. I don't make a habit of doing them all the time, but I do try to, you know, do ones that are requested. People are thinking about buying the plate and would like to see what some of these images look like or they might even already own the plate and kind of curious as to well what do you do with it? What what would you do with it? And by using all these crazy, uh, they're not pop sticks but nail tips um, that have been used from previous swatches, we get some really random crazy looking ideas sometimes. I know I'm not holding them up to um, the camera very well every time and I am trying to pop through it very quickly because it's, like I said, there's a lot of images on this plate. I changed my lighting so the glare wouldn't be so bad. Hopefully it'll still show up. Some of them are quite light and uh, like I said, at the end I will definitely have up close pictures and video of these images own all of the nails. This is one of the plates that one of my friends sent me and I just absolutely adore it. This is one that my, my friend Becky Mann sent me when she sent me all those plates and polishes. Now this one's over a magnetic polish and I think it looks really cool. I need to break out some magnetic polishes and play. And if you're ever not happy with me, you know, speeding up videos, there is a tool um, on your video player that you can slow down images. Of course, it's going to make me sound like I'm walking through mud or talking through mud, but you can do that. Uh, just this video, this one was one that was literally like 36 minutes long. So I definitely had to do some speeding up and some cutting out of uh, some of the extra. Now this one is one of the layering ones and I wasn't quite sure 
how this one was supposed to work. But this is how I did it. <laughs> I pulled up the solid with the white and I'm trying to make sure I line it up on the nail well. And you could wear it just like that or you could do like I'm fixing to do and kind of uh, layer it over. Layer it over the other image but offset it just a little bit so that the image is on both sides of it. I thought it turned out pretty cool. You'll get to see it at the end. Remember it's the wavy one with the blue behind it. <laughs> now we're getting up into the bigger images and it's a little easier to figure out what I'm going for and what I'm doing. This one turned out really cool. Love it. And then here we go with another layering one. <laughs> Some of these you would think that they're just, they look so simple, but when you go to do them, it's like, what, what, what am I doing? There we go. I like them just like that too. I think that looks cool. But you guys know the junkie in me wants to keep stamping and keep playing. So if I was doing this on my nails, I probably would do the layering. If they've got an option for doing that, I'm all in. Now I'm trying to figure out how to place it. Oh, we'll just put it on like that. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> and this one kind of looks a little crazy, but it, you know, they're not all going to be perfect. It looks kind of cool. I love that swipe design, the one I just did on the blue. That one was one of my favorites. <laughs> I know I say favorites a lot during this video, but this is one of my, oh, I love that. This is one of my favorite plates ever, and I was really excited about doing it. I knew, I knew that um, I would have a really good time playing with this one. And here's another one of those swipey ones. Kind of swipes down around the nail. I love that with that negative space there. That looks so cool. And this one is one of those, well, you can see it on the plate. I'm going to do it just like that on the nail to where there's some open space between the two designs. I think that looks really cool. And here we go with, this is another one of the layered ones, but I'm going to do it singly just like this. And then I'm going to do the layered version of it. I wanted to let you see it both ways. Here we go with the base. The base swoop of color. That one almost looks like a dis deformed face. Like a Grinch. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. And now we're going to go over it with the flower image. Golly, I love this plate. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I know it sounds sick, but isn't that pretty? Okay, so I had to turn the plate around this way because this image, it's a corner image, and sometimes they're tricky, and with it having all that open space, I wanted to make sure I didn't struggle with it too bad. And now we're going to layer the Im other image over top. As soon as I can get this extra off of here... I did change to my little AliExpress stamper. It's a little easier for me to hold and manage when I'm doing a lot. So there we go. That one might not be how it was supposed to be done, but that's how I did it. <laughs> I've used this plate so many times and I know there for a while y'all probably were getting tired of seeing it because I just, it stayed out on my desk and I just kept getting drawn to it. This one's really cool, too, because it covers up a lot of it and just lets it peekaboo. Oh, I love images like that. So we're getting down to the wire here, y'all. We're getting there. Ta-da! This should be the last one. It's got a lot of open space in it, too, so I put a lot of polish over the image. And I'm being very careful with my scrape. Peekaboo image. So here we go. I love these. I love that magnetic one. It's so pretty. 
And that black one with all the sparkles of colors just jumping out. It's just gorgeous. Got some double stamp in there. Over some glitters. Hollows and multi-chromes and more magnetics. This is a great plate. If you like swirly twirly designs like me, this is one you need in your collection. Now I don't get paid by Lena. Don't 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 confuse this with being like an advertisement for them. But look how pretty they all are. I love this. I hope you enjoyed it too. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my swatching videos if you enjoy them. Here's the swatch photo if you want to pause it. I would love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.